Hi YouTube, how are you guys doing? It's Marmar Snatch. I'm back again for another video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Urban Decay Honey Naked Palette. So last night I was at work and checking my email and I got the notification that the Urban Decay Honey Palette was already available at Sephora. I think it was like a 12 minute or something. So what I did was, as soon as I got home, I took like a two hour nap and then like around 1 p.m. I went straight to Sephora and then asked them if the Honey Palette is still available. And they said that there are full stock or still have a lot of uh, available items uh, at the Sephora store where I went at, the one near my house. So I drove there right away and then, uh, and, and then grabbed it and then left the store ASAP. As you guys can see, I have the Honey Gold palette right now. So I went uh, straight to the Sephora store today and got the palette myself. Uh, so I already unboxed it and I already tried out the shades. But I'm going to be uh, showing you guys the swatches on my lids uh, in a few seconds. I already did a clip on that. So I just did a quick look just to like look a little presentable and just to represent you guys how the Honey palette looks on me. So far, I really love it. So um, this is another version of the... The Urban Decay Naked Palette, um, I actually do have uh, quite a few palettes for under this line. So previously I re repurchased the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and then a few years ago I have the Urban Decay Smoky uh, Palette. I got this in Nordstrom Rack. I don't think they sell this anymore. I already got this continued. So just a quick look. This is the palette and this is the Urban Decay uh, Heat Palette which I usually use every single day because you know I work as a nurse and since I work as a nurse, I have to be wearing like a wearable type of uh, makeup. I'm not saying that other palettes are not wearable, it's just more like this the formulation of the Urban Decay palette is just like doable, it's beginner friendly, and just like it's one of those palettes that even if you mess up, it's still gonna look good either way. So, and it's easy to blend with. It's the type of palette that like really blendable, so it's like a beginner type of friendly palette. That's all I can say. But like I said, it's like, it's not everybody's cup of tea because it's under the neutral uh, type of palette. So it's like, it's like basic, you know, on the go type of palette, going to work type of palette, desk job type of palette. So, you know, it's not like an artistry type of palette. So, I'm gonna show you guys the swatches now on my uh, right and my left lids. So here you go. So first shade that I'm going to be swatching right now is golden. So as you guys can see, I'm going to be applying the shade golden uh, as my initial eyeshadow uh, transition shade. So there you go. This is like a true gold. This is not like a mustard gold or like yellow gold. It's like a true actual 2020 Chinese New Year gold. So when I went to the store and then I swatched the shade uh, on my wrist, I was, I was sold already. I was already sold. Just by swatching the shade. Look at that. It's so buttery, shimmery, intense. I love it. Uh, next shade that I'm going to be uh, swatching is Honey. It's the same as Golden, but this is like a lighter gold uh, type of shade. And I'm going to be swatching in my lower lids. As you guys can see, it's the same like the top one. It's very shimmery, intense, uh, in-your-face type of gold. So I really have to justify this palette by uh, showing an up-close uh, tutorial uh, of how I'm going to be applying the, the shades on my lids. Because I know like other YouTubers, they were showing it like really far from the camera, but I had to really show it up-close. Now, moving on to the mask, I'm going to be using the shade keeper to my uh, left lids. So, I'm going to be swiping it. Uh, windshield motion. So, this is like... I don't know how you describe this color. Like yellow mustard type of matte. Definitely this one is not gold. So, this like, this is, this is like a dark mustard uh, yellow type of shade. So on a regular day, this is how I apply my eyeshadow. I use the mattes first, and then I put a shimmer in the middle uh, when I use the Urban Decay Naked line when I go to work.
Next shade that I'm going to be using is Hive. And I'm going to be using it on my lower lids. So this like... I feel like I've seen this color before on the Naked um, Smoky Eye Palette. So this shade is not really new to me. Uh, this like... This is like a regular neutral matte. Or nude matte. So I was being biased with this Honey Palette because you know, apparently I... I focus more on the shimmer shades or I was like, I was more gravitated towards the the shimmer shades of this palette. But as as I mentioned earlier, I have to justify this palette by using all the mattes too uh, on a closer look on the camera. Next shade that I'm going to be using is Sting. This is like a dark amber type of matte shade. Um, this shade looks familiar to me too as well. I don't think this is like a unique shade from the Urban Decay Honey Palette line. I feel like I've seen this in the Urban Decay Heat Palette. Uh, yep. And I'm going to be applying this on my crease. So I'm going to keep on blending it until I get that smoky effect type of look. Next shade that I'm going to be using right now is Queen. So this is like olive green or green type of gold. So I'm going to be applying the this shade with a brush. But it's not really showing off when I use a brush. You usually spray with a MAC Fix Plus. But for this one, I'm just going to be using my finger. I like using uh, my fingers for shimmer shades on my lids. I think it's because like I have like a very small lids. I'm on not mono lid, I'm hooded lid. So in order for me to create that type of effect, like a like a full effect of the shimmer shades, I have to use my fingers. And the last shade that I'm going to be using is named uh, HBIC. I don't know what that means. I'm going to be researching that. So this is like a copper copper shimmer or metallic shade. So I'm just going to be putting it in my inner corner. And that's going to be my last watch for this palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed that clip of the swatches that I did. So um, so far I didn't really use all the shades in the palette. I only used the shades like the the, the one with the gold uh, gold undertones or like the the main uh, shades that I haven't seen in another palette yet. So so I feel I mainly focus on the shimmer shades. So I hope you guys uh, have fun watching my video. You know my video looks kind of choppy and sloppy, but you know hope, my lighting is actually good right now. Because I turn on a lot of lights, my uh, lights in the room, and my ring light, and I'm facing the window. So I feel like this, like my, this, like my, my final setting for my YouTube videos, hopefully. But yeah, so thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And my username is Marmar Snatch. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Bye.